Hello guys, good evening and welcome to Everything Metallurgy and welcome to EM Picks, question number two of uh, this new series. So this is a very uh, simple question yet uh, many people will be confused with this and many people ask what are the different conditions for this. So that is why I came up with this uh, particular question, which is again, remember, an important question. Okay. Now, the question goes like this. In a BCC lattice, which direction a dislocation can move in a given plane 1, 2 bar, 3? And we have got uh, the four options to us. So always remember, they are asking us, what, you, what is that you need to find out? You need to find out the direction in which a dislocation can move. And they gave the plane in which the dislocation is moving. So what are these known as? So this particular plane in which the dislocation moves is known as a slip plane. Correct? And the direction which they are asking is nothing but the slip direction. Right? And what actually uh, represents these two combinedly these are known as my slip systems okay slip systems so they are just asking you that what is the slip direction in a particular given slip system or slip plane sorry we don't know the slip system yet so basically what is a slip system it it, it is denoted something like this uh, h k l and u w okay so the one more important observation that you must know here is the kind of uh, the notations that i am using so for plane we use simple open brackets whereas the square brackets are used for directions okay so this is again one more basic thing that you must know now so it is what is the condition so forget about dislocation forget about bcc any particular plane okay even if you take in a mathematics mathematical way any particular plane the normal is denoted by what the same thing okay a plane is denoted by its normal okay so of course in a 3d coordinate system so that is why cubic systems have this particular uh, notation that a plane is actually denoted by its plane normal and both of them have same indices hkl plane as hkl as a normal okay even we can easily prove that but of course we are not doing that here so any direction which is present in a particular plane is what is also perpendicular to the plane normal correct any direction if you take on this particular plane it is obviously perpendicular to my plane normal right what is a plane normal it is nothing but a perpendicular uh, you know axis to the plane right so this particular condition can be applied to calculate this thing okay so we know that the plane or here uh, our plane normal is what 1 2 bar 3 so what is the condition for the particular slip system or a particular direction to lie in a particular plane is very simple h u plus k v plus l w equal to zero how did we get this again this can be obtained from cos theta formula okay i hope you know this h u plus k v plus l w divided by root of h square plus k square plus a square this is nothing but a dot product which we use okay of course, in uh, vectors, we use dot products. If you take the magnitudes, this is what you get. Okay. And because theta is 90, what is cos 90? Cos 90 is 0. So, that is how we got this particular condition. So, just take the same thing over here and match the options. Okay. So, here you can apply what? What is h for us? So, h is 1 into u plus k is minus 2 into v plus at least 3 into w equal to 0 so we got a condition of u minus 2v plus 3w is equal to 0 that's all so now if you just carefully put in the options what is that you get you have 1 1 1 bar i guess right yeah or maybe even this b is an option where because 1 bar is minus 1 minus 2 into 1 and plus 3 equal to 0 right 
this is the option that you have so b is the option one bar one and one okay so again this is a very basic question but yet many people confuse so that is why i thought to put it over here what are the key takeaways from this particular question or this concept the cost data the slip systems and how you can mathematically derive not derive also but how mathematically you can solve if these particular kind of questions are asked okay so yeah that's it for uh, this video again reminding about the live crash course starting from december 5th we have only two more days so interested people can do pingers on whatsapp and enroll for the same where we cover all the last 10 to 12 year previous year questions along with detailed explanations of the concepts right so that's it from my side we'll meet you again in the next video thank you guys thank you for watching